Good morning, children, and welcome back to online class. Okay, this is your uh, first class after your half yearly exam. So, let us begin our new okay uh, first class with the chapter number seven: Our Nature, Love Nature. A very good topic to study and know about our knowledge. Okay, children. So, shall we begin? Okay. Thank you. Okay. Step number seven, love nature. First, let's listen what is given in your first page. There is a spinach for lunch. Okay, there are some uh, people who do not like this spinach and all. Okay, so what they do, they keep aside it. Okay, now let us read this, you will understand very easily, clearly also. There is a spinach for lunch. You don't like it. Okay, so you Push it aside. You don't like it means what? You, you don't want that uh, spinach to be in your eyes, near your eyes. So what you will do? You will put that aside. You will put that aside. Okay, children. Next. Don't waste it, says mother. It's good for you. Okay. Don't waste it, said by your mother. It is good for you. Okay. Now, what she mean to say? That means she mean to say you don't waste it. Okay, if you don't like it, keep it as, as it is, other family member will eat it, okay, but don't waste it, it is good for you. And as well, if we eat that spinach, it is good for our health also. Alright children, it is good for our health also, even. Okay, next. Nature is our mother too. Just like our human beings, our mother mother nature to shares good things with us okay nature is our mother like our own human beings mother okay what they do they share some good things with us all right next she gives us fruits she gives us nuts she gives us seed she gives us grain she gives us water and lots of other healthy foods by whom do we get all this? We get with our from our nature. Okay, children. Now we must not waste what our mother nature gives us. That's why we the topic of your chapter, chapter number seven is what? Love the nature. Love nature. That means what? We should not waste any of the uh, nature's creativity. Okay. Okay, now let's read a story from China which is very long time ago. Okay, which is very long time ago. Now, there is a story from China which is a real story from China. So, let us read it. One drop of water. The story of that China's uh, uh, story is what? The one drop of water. Okay, a Zen story. It is a Zen story. That means the topic of the story is what? One drop of water. Okay, now let us read the story. Alright, children? Okay, read it. A long time ago in China, there was a wise teacher called Yishan. Okay? There was a teacher, wise teacher, name is what? Yishan. He lived in the mountainous. He lives in the mountains among the trees, flowers, birds and animals. Where does this uh, teacher, wise teacher Yishan live? He lived in the mountains among the trees, flowers, uh, birds and animals. Okay? Many people come to learn from him. Many people, they come to learn from him. Why? Because he was a wise teacher. Okay? One of them was a young boy called Sen Hui. One of the students of the teacher was what? Sen Hui. Okay? And he was very young boy. One day, Yishan was getting ready for a bath. The teacher, the wise teacher Yishan was getting ready for a bath. Okay? Then, what happened? Oh, this water is too hot. See, you can see the picture also here. See, the master, he was touching the water and he said that, Oh, ho, it, this water is very hot. Okay? Then what he did? Then what he did? Sen Hui, bring me some cold water quickly. Okay? Yes, master, said the young boy. That is Sen Hui. Okay? Then, Sen Hui brought 
a bucket of cold water and began pouring it into the top of hot water. Where the hot water was there, he, uh, that Senhui, the young boy, what he did? He brought one bucket of water, then he was pouring a uh, little, little, little. Then uh, the master, the teacher, he was uh, touching the water and he said that, okay, this much is okay. Right? Then, what the, uh, some cold water was left in the bucket. Okay? After pouring that cold water, some cold water in the, uh, that hot tub of water, what uh, the Senhui did? When the master said, okay, it is okay. Now it is okay. Now don't, no need to pour some, uh, some more cold water. No need to pour it. Okay. Then what this Senhui did, he threw some waters which were left in the bucket. Okay. Now see, listen the story. Some cold water was left in the bucket. Senhui, Senhui threw it away. Hey, stop. The master or the teacher said, hey, stop. Why did you throw the water away? You could have used it to water the plants or you could have used it later on. Okay. The master was angry. Alright children. The master was angry. Why the master was angry? Because then we threw some water which was left in the bucket. Alright. Master uh, said stop. Hey stop. Why did you throw the water which is left in the bucket? Why? You could have used it for watering the plant or also you could have used it for in the later work purpose also right then what I can see here Senhui was very sad why he was very sad because I have never seen you so angry master why did, why did you scold me why are you angry with me okay then the master said I am angry because you wasted the water okay this Senhui was very sad, feeling very sad that his master had scolded him. Okay. Then he asked, why are you angry, sir? Then he said, I am angry because you wasted water. Okay. If we waste water, master said, now see, listen what master said. Okay. If we waste water, there will be no more left for us. The master said, if we waste the water, there will be no more water left for us. There will be no water for the plants and animals either. They will die. If there is no water, we will be able to survive. No, we will be dying. Yes or no, we will be dead. So, that's why this master was very angry. Okay, then, I am sorry master. I know, I now understand the importance of saving water. Okay. Now, after saying these things, uh, this uh, uh, Yishan to that uh, boy, young boy, Senhui, the Senhui understood. Okay. Now he said, I now understand the importance of water. Okay, children. So by then, uh, this boy, this young boy, Senhui understood the importance of water. And so he stopped wasting water as well as we also should learn a great lesson from this story that we should not waste water. Alright children, so I hope you enjoyed the story. Okay, go through the story, go through the video if you have books. Go through the books. Okay, study the story. It is very interesting. Read it. And uh, in the next class, I will be giving you some question answers which are given over here. Okay children, so till then, thank you for today. Have a good day, hi. Thank you.